so we are on to option greeks the reason why they are called greeks is because they use greek alphabets we have to find out the impact of different variables on the prices of options okay so we know that there are five variables which affect the option prices the first one is if my spot price changes that would have impact on the option price then strike price changes that would have impact on the option price if time to maturity changes that will have impact on the option price if volatility changes that would have impact on the option price and if risk free rate of return changes that would have impact on the option price so what impact so what what do i mean by this for example we are looking at a option let us say that option is trading in the market at a price of 12 okay we don't know the other variables but what we know is that time spot price was 100 rupee of that underlying asset it's a call option spot price from 100 became 101 so spot price increased by 1 rupee this option increased from 12 to 12.7 so what will we conclude we will conclude at least as of now 1 rupee increase in the underlying asset is going to increase the option price by 0.7 this is the relationship of spot price and option price this is denoted by a greek letter called delta and it simply shows that if spot price increases by what price the option price will increase are we clear manoj this is your favorite area delta so <coughs> spot price increases resultant impact on the option price is called delta if we know that more time to maturity higher is the intrinsic higher is the time value of that option longer the maturity more is the value of option so as the time reduces the option price will start reducing so that relationship of time to maturity with the price of the option that is called that relationship is denoted by theta as the volatility increases the price of the options increases so this relationship is given by a greek letter no this relationship not given by greek letter is given by vega as rfr increases call option price increases put option price decreases this relationship is given by a greek letter called rho since strike price once entered do not change we don't need a relationship denominator here because strike price is always constant strike price equal to 100 so we don't need but what happens is that this delta which is a relationship of spot price to option price this itself keeps on changing so this is called first derivative but because as the spot changes delta keeps on changing so we have one more derivative which is a second derivative which is called gamma so the rate of change in delta is called gamma okay which is a second derivative of delta so you know for you it's very easy to remember what you need to remember is first two which you would anyways remember because we would be solving a lot of questions on them so delta is the most important greek it gives you the relationship between price of an underlying asset and the price of the option and logically if it's a call option if it's a call option as the underlying asset increases the call option price will increase so we can say delta is a positive positive slope of the direction but for a put option as the underlying asset increases put option price will decrease and therefore deltas would be negative as the spot price changes that delta would also keep on changing very fast so the rate at which that delta is changing which is a second derivative that would be called as gamma are we clear then the volatility of a option would have impact on the price of the option which is called vega so again easy way to remember is you can say v and v vega as the time to maturity changes then the value of option will change so the relationship between time and option price is given by theta as the rfr changes again option price will change which is given by rho so if you remember the first two which is delta and gamma which any idiot would remember after the session 
so i'm not trying to deem in but you can judge yourself so then time is theta volatility is vega and rfr is rho so i was trying to read some history behind this greeks delta is a greek letter gamma is a greek letter theta is a greek letter rho is a greek letter vega is not a greek letter okay so i came across one piece which had different hypotheses in terms of why it's called vega so one set of hypothesis is since it's vv it's easier to remember that that's why it's called vega okay the second hypothesis said there was a book called confusion of confusions okay which was written by author whose name was vega and therefore it is also said that probably this impact of volatility is named after him so we don't know the theory but yeah what we know is that the relationship between volatility and price of option is given by vega so we let's start with delta let's do it one by one let's have a graph like this now what we can clearly observe that this is my call option price and my strike price is somewhere here so these are my asset prices underlying asset price as the value of asset increases the price of the call option is going to increase so that graph is somehow goes in this direction it's not a straight line it's a curve now what happens is and let's think of it through an example let us say that i have a call option which is got strike price of 100 now what we will assume is that as of now we are very close to maturity okay it's a call option strike price of 100 we are close to maturity we are maturing on the same day let's say about 5 hours from maturity we will consider different scenarios number 1 let's consider that spot price is about 10 that means the option is deep in the money so much option is deep out of the money it's a call option european call option we are on expiry day i have a right to buy at 100 how much is the market price 10 okay so it's a deep out of the money option the option would trade at a very small premium of let's say 0.20 negligible why because it's almost impossible that a spot price of 10 would actually turn out to be in the money are you following this now what happened is from 10 the option price became 11 then also there wouldn't be any impact per se on this price no impact right because even then i know that is going to be out of the money from 11 it became 12 then also this would remain 0.20 which means as the underlying asset price is changing my value of option is not changing are you following this so this is where i would say my delta is close to zero so my delta is close to zero when the option is deep out of the money and close to maturity convinced let's see this side i'll give you sufficient time to write this is a very tricky area be focused and try to understand now let us say <laughs> spot price is 500 what would be the premium about 400 why because it's deep in the money and what we know is that on maturity option will trade on its intrinsic value or close to intrinsic value so by exercising this option i can have a profit of 400 in the next few hours so it will trade at about 400 or probably slightly higher 401 from 500 it became 501 now this is how much 401 this became 502 this would be 402 so as the underlying price is increasing by 1 the option price is increasing by 1 are you appreciating this so this is where when the option is deep in the money so let me call this section as 
I'll give you time to write. Hold on. Please focus. This is deep out of money. This area is deep in the money. And when the option is deep in the money, we would say that delta is close to 1. Since at this stage we are close to 0, at this stage we are close to 1, when option is at the money, okay, so this area is at the money, this time the delta generally is close to 0.5. This time delta is generally close to 0.5. Okay. Now as of now you wouldn't be very convinced. This looks convincing when, when we say delta is close to 0. This looks convincing when I say delta is close to 1. This is delta is close to 0.5. What does it mean? It means that when the underlying asset will increase by 1, the option asset option price will increase by 0.5. One more interpretation of delta which would be which will help you be crystal clear on this is delta is also interpreted okay this is not a mathematical interpretation even black and scholes however uses the same interpretation of delta delta is also interpreted as the probability of option being in the money delta is probability of option being in the money and now suddenly things would be clear one means I am 100% sure that option would be in the money. Zero means I am 100% no. I am 0% sure that option would be in the money. Sorry, out of the money. Here, when the spot price and strike price is same, there is a 50-50 chance of it might go this way or this way. And therefore, delta is 0.5. So a trader, when underlying asset increases by 1, he would pay only 0.5 extra for that option price to buy that option. Are we clear? So deep in the money delta is deep in the money delta is 1 deep out of the money delta is 0 at the money close to 0.5 okay to be honest actually it comes out to be about 0 0.55 0 0.6 but close to 0 0.5 not exactly these are your deltas so now you can write this down quickly and if you know this much that's sufficient for your level 2 exams No, that's because of impact of other variables. It is percentage. If this becomes 405, this would be 505. So 5 divided by 5, 1. Proportionate. If this changes by 5, that ch will change by 5. If this changes by 10, that would change by 10. So, a relationship of 1. When my spot increased from 500 to 505, my option price increased from 400 to 405. So, a 5 rupee increase in my spot resulted into 5 rupee increase in my premium. So, relationship of 1 divide by dx of that line okay try to write it in the same way i mean of course in better handwriting much more better handwriting but in the same pro forma because after this i'm going to build on something on the same format yes for one dollar change in this it's the same thing delta is percentage any delta is the relationship delta is capped by so for call option it is capped by 0 and 1 what this means is how is this delta calculated I don't want to use this space actually uh, this delta is calculated as 
फाइव जीरो फाइव माइनस फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय फोर जीरो फाइव माइनस फोर हंड्रेड सो दैट्स फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव वन वन आल्सो मींस हंड्रेड परसेंट सो व्हाट इट सिंपली मींस इज अ वन डॉलर चेंज वुड रिजल्ट इनटू वन डॉलर चेंज हियर बट अ फाइव डॉलर चेंज वुड रिजल्ट इनटू फाइव डॉलर चेंज एनी पार्ट यू वॉन्ट मी टू रिपीट इज इज क्लियर now the next part if you are clear with delta now we are on gamma gamma is the rate at which delta changes when the spot price changes now see the fun when i was here from price change from 10 to 11 option price remained from 0.20 to 0.20 so how much was my delta delta was 0 when this went from 11 to 12 option price remained from 0.20 to 0.20 how much is my delta 0 what is the rate at which my delta has changed 0 so my gamma is close to 0 so when the options are deep out of the money gamma is close to zero clear because my deltas are not changing here also my delta was zero here also my delta was zero so gamma is zero my deltas are in a way remaining constant Should I move on further? When option price increased from five hundred to five hundred and five, my sorry. When spot price from five hundred to five zero five, option price four hundred to four zero five. What is the delta here? One. When this increased again, this increased again. so now this is become negative but even in negative scenario when this decreases by 3 this also decreases by 3 what is the delta delta is again 1 is my delta changing no therefore my gamma is 0 so again gamma is close to 0 clear Do you want me to repeat this part? See here, delta remains zero. Okay, so since delta doesn't change, gamma is zero. There, delta remains one. Since delta doesn't change, it remains one. The gamma is zero. But when you're here, when your delta is close to point five, if the price increases, that point five approaches towards one. When the price decreases, that point five approaches towards zero. So i should write this is zero so this is where your delta would change really fast when you're at the money price starts increasing from 0.5 to 0.6 0.7 it will keep on increasing when the price decreases from 0.5 it might come downwards so this is where i would say my gamma is highest so gamma is highest when the options are at the money and it is close to zero when the options are deep in the money and deep out of the money 